Dun, 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 dun. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Hello, hello, and welcome to a very special figure review of the 16K collectible figure of Negan from The Walking Dead by 3-0. I have never really bought from 3-0 before, but I'm really optimistic about it. As you can see in the front of the box, there's the beautiful picture of Jeffrey Dean Morgan portraying Negan. On the side, you can see his name, the character name at least. On the back, there's a beautiful picture of Jeffrey playing Negan. And that's the side. And once you open the box, it's a window style box. You can see the figure. And there's a picture of when Negan visited Alexandria. Now, here he is out of the box with everything that he comes with. Now, spoiler alert, just a fair warning, I will be talking about some stuff from the show because they are related to the accessories. So, fast forward to the poses at the end, or go away, whatever you want to do, just thought about warning you. Anyway, he comes with Lucille, with the barbed wire applied already. He also comes with uh, Lucille without the barbed wire, and here's the wire. It's a silk wire. I don't know why they chose to do this. I guess I'll figure it out as we go. Uh, he comes also with Rex Axe. And the Sharpie he used on Carl. His gun. And the clip. A holding hand for Lucille. An open gestured hand. And a gun holding hand. He also comes with a hand to hold Lucille. On the left. And... A closed fist left hand. He also comes with two extra pegs in case you break them. We will be taking a closer look at the accessories but now let's just get into the figure itself. Here's a closer look at the figure and boy oh boy did 300 capture the likeness of Jeffrey Dean Morgan. As Negan. Look at this. Oh my god. This is just beautiful. That is Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Now. Taking a look. At the costume itself. He has a leather jacket of course. With a scarf. His belt. The pants are made of cloth and plastic boots to resemble the leather boots. Now if you open up the leather jacket and remove the scarf you can see he has the white shirt so you can display him without the jacket and the scarf if you want to which is an option of course now taking a closer look at the accessories he of course comes with Lucille with the barbed wire details on it now this is just plastic so I guess that's why they included the other Lucille was just a regular bat and it comes with a wire so you can have an authentic wired Lucille I guess however the wire doesn't have barbed wire details on it you have to make all the work yourself so if you have time I guess he also comes with his gun, with nice details on it. It has Lucille on it, which makes it a savior gun. A mark they're famous for. I think this is the gun that Carl stole, if 
if I'm not mistaken, yeah. It's definitely the gun that Carr had when they captured them. Also, he comes with a clip. You can add that to the gun. Which makes a real nice detail. Removable clip. Just like the Hot Toys. He also comes with Rick's axe. It's just a plastic one. It's not made of metal. But it has nice paint on it, so I guess it suffice. He also comes with a Sharpie he used on Carl. It belonged to Simon, of course. As for the hand, he comes with a left closed fist. He also comes with the left hand to hold Lucille. As for the right hand with the glove, he comes with one to hold Lucille as well. And a gun holding hand, right one. And finally, an open gesture hand for when he talks and gives his speech. <laughs> and finally, last but not least, two extra pigs in case you break them. For articulation, his head can move left, right, and all the way around. It goes back this far, and forward this far. For the arm, it can extend this far out. It's a bit hindered by the jacket, and it can move all the way around. But the jacket hinders it. But if he doesn't have the jacket, it can move all the way around. There's the bend at the elbow, a little bit over 90 degrees, and his wrist moves. It's on a ball joint, so it can move pretty freely. As for the torso, this is how, how far he can bend forward, how far back. He has a cut on the waist. As for the legs, this is how far forward. And that's how far back. The bend at the knee. And he has also a ball joint on the feet, so. And they can move really well. A bit hindered, but pretty well, considering. And it's going to also move all the way around. That's it for articulation. Now, final thoughts on this figure. It is fantastic. I only have one nitpick about it, which is he doesn't come with a stand. It's a bit disappointing, but an easy fix. Other than that, everything is perfect. The paint job is good. The likeness of Jeffrey Dean Morgan is perfect. He is amazing. The amount of accessories is cool too. Not too much, not too little. Of course, you would want more always, but he comes with a fair amount. And the outfit is on point. Scarf, shirts, leather jacket. It's all perfect. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time.
thanks for watching. I really hope you liked that video. Make sure to check my other videos on the channel. And in case you're not subscribed already, what the hell are you doing? You don't want to miss this glorious goodness. <laughs> See you next time.